Black Lives Matter, period. I'm Dominican and I'm black. What the fuck is you talking about? What I saw, that's what the mainstream media does, bro. They took that little shit and tried to make it about race. Don't get pulled into that bullshit, man. Yeah, what up my people? Como esta mi gente? Listen, a lot of stuff has been going on and that's why I'm making this emergency video, all right? A lot has been going on and a lot of misinformation has been going on that I have to come out here and address. You feel what I'm saying? And I wouldn't be who I am if I wasn't gonna come out here and address the bullshit. I'm saying this whole protest and all that has been not only done because of George Floyd, you know what I'm saying? Because RIP to George Floyd. Not only because of that, but people are out here in outrage about white supremacy. That's why the real protest is happening. People are fucking tired of white supremacy. Why? Because a system of white supremacy makes these neighborhoods into ghettos. The system of white supremacy targets us as such with the police. The system of white supremacy makes these police kill us because, you know, they fear for their life, whatever. Kill us, and then they get acquitted. That's why people are fucking protesting. Let's keep it real. That's why people are protesting. I'm not trying to take this away from George Floyd, but let's be honest, this shit is bigger than George Floyd. It started because of him, but the real message is bigger than that. You know what I'm saying? And something interesting happened. Very interesting happened. That during these protests and even looting, everybody's on one code and one code only. And what's that one code? We are sick and tired of this bullshit. And we want to fuck some shit up together. We're going to fuck some cops up together. We're going to save each other from these cops together. And who do you see doing this? Black and Latin people. Black and Latin people are out here saving each other's asses, out here protesting, out here looting together. Black and Latin people. And then you have these little narratives coming out to cause division. There's narr narratives out here to cause division. Why? Because this unity, they're seeing this shit and they're like, whoa, hold up. This can't happen. So let's try to divide and conquer on some Cointel Pro bullshit. On some Cointel Pro bullshit. Antonio isn't helping out with his little racist message. That shit is not helping out. You know what I'm saying? Nor is other people making reaction videos on shit like this aren't helping out, especially when you're not from the community, especially when you don't have a history talking about the systematic oppressors of white supremacy, especially making reaction videos on things you don't know nothing about. I got some things to address. I got some things to address. Let me address, let me just address the Washington Heights situation first. Let me just address the Washington Heights situation first. And before I do, I want you guys to understand why I'm making this video, the Washington Heights joint and the Fordham Road joint. For everybody out of town that aren't in New York City, Washington Heights and Fordham Road are literally walking distances. We're just one bridge away. I'm, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a map uh, to the left of me is Manhattan. That little tip, that little tip right there. That's Manhattan. As you guys could probably see the very faint letters in the bottom. It says Washington Heights, right? Mind you, Dykeman is in Washington Heights. Dykeman is just, you know, a street name It's in Washington Heights, right? It's right next to the bridge that goes to Fordham road. So on the left of me is Manhattan and at, at the right of me is the Bronx. Very big, very massive, right? If you guys don't understand it, here's another one. I'm highlighting it for you. This is Manhattan. 
And where is Fordham Road? You see that? That strip right there, that's Fordham Road. That strip right there. One bridge connects us to Fordham Road. From you know, from Fordham Road to Washington Heights, Washington Heights to Fordham Road. One bridge connects us. And by the way, people, these reaction videos that I'm hearing, it's pronounced Fordham, not Fordham. For, you know what I'm saying? The Ford ham? What the fuck? The, the fucking English didn't come in here and great Ford ham came and put his little bullshit flag down and say this is now called for a ham. No, it's Fordham. Fordham Road. Got the Ford ham. So it sounds so cringy. Anyway, it's pronounced Fordham. Come on, guys. So Fordham Road, right? It's they're real close to each other. Washington Heights is predominantly, predominantly Dominican. Basically a Latin neighborhood. It's right above Harlem. And right above Harlem, I mean right next to Harlem, is very small, is Spanish Harlem, which is a very predominantly Puerto Rican neighborhood. But we're not going to get into that. I'm just, I just want to put that out. And right over the bridge... Fordham Road is predominantly black and Latin. It's not a Latin neighborhood or some people say a Hispanic neighborhood. No, it's not a Hispanic neighborhood. It's a black and Latin neighborhood. Fordham is not Hispanic. It's not a Hispanic. It's a black and Latin neighborhood. All of the Bronx is black and Latin. There's no one sector of the Bronx that is mainly... No. There's some small sectors of the Bronx that's mainly Italian, mainly Albanian. But Fordham Road, it's not because you remember Fordham meets University, Kingsbridge, the Grand Concourse, Webster. Those are not Hispanic or Latin. I like saying Latin. Those are not Latin neighborhoods. Those are black and Latin neighborhoods. The Bronx is very, very tighten it with the black and white and stuff but i want to give you guys that insight on why i'm talking about both of these things now there was a video that came out a couple of days ago that basically made dominicans look bad oh yeah it's Chill out, chill out. They're not even chill, 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 chill. Oh, Dykeman is ready. Yo, what the fuck? Relax, relax, relax. Oh, niggas is ready. So that was the clip right there. It makes Dominicans look bad, right? Without a, without context, it makes Dominicans look bad. Now, this right here is a video before all of that little BS happened, right? This is a video. It's right, so they know that we are civilized people at the end of the day in this community. This is the community that's seen half of us born and raised. And we can allow somebody from another borough to come into our neighborhood and destroy it. Because if it's not me, if it's not the guys from Post, if it's not the guys from Thayer, from Sickles, Arden, Elwood, all the back blocks, if it's not them coming, if it's not us destroying our community and breaking into these stores, why should we allow somebody to come into our neighborhood? That's my thing. At the end, at the end of the day, I'm not preaching violence. I'm not preaching violence because we have these guys here that's gonna protect the whole ass. The only thing I ask about everybody that's here that represents their, their block is be on point. If you see somebody that you don't know from your, from the neighborhood, ask them, stop them, don't beat them up. Ask them like, yo, who are you? Who, who, where you from? That's all I want. At the end of the day, we gotta protect what's ours. Still out here. Nobody showed up yet, unsurprisingly. But this is what it looks like when a community and the police actually get together and get along. Police ain't bothering us, we not bothering them, and we all have a common goal in mind. It really could be this simple. It's unfortunate that it's pretty difficult for other people to understand that.
Now, that looks weird, right? That looks way different, right? Okay. And this is a video right here of all the all the protesters, all the, all the people from the community, black themselves also, going to protect their community. They're not out there targeting black people. They're out there targeting looters. That's all it is. They're protecting their neighborhood from outsiders. That's all it is. And the majority of the looters are not black. To be honest, the majority of the looters are white. You know what I'm saying? The majority of the looters are white. But they were not targeting people who are black. They were targeting people who are not from that neighborhood. Who are not from that neighborhood. Don't believe me. The black, those black people came back to the neighborhood to set the record straight. Check this out. And hey, listen, we squash the beef that everybody thought there was beef, but there wasn't. It was a misunderstanding. We got Flacco from the BX, Scruff, Dykeman is in the building. And I want to personally say I apologize for what happened. We, we are men of our word. There's no more to it, man. At the end of the day, I want people to understand, we all unify. We all bleed, we all bleed the same color. We all bleed the same color. And we did this so people could stop inside promoting violence. And we're not about violence. At the end of the day, we all going through the same struggle. But I gotta, I gotta salute these guys because they came into our hood. They came back so we could show everybody that, look, we are united. It was a misunderstanding. And everybody with that chit chat, leave it alone, man. Yeah, yeah, I got comments. Post this on the ground. Yeah, post this on the ground. Apology, man. Make this go viral. Make this go public viral. Public apology right here. Nobody got hurt, and everybody came together, and everybody understands that at the end of the day, we are one human race. One. But at the we end of the day, the one. cops are fucking us up, and we gotta stick right. together and, and fight against police no brutality. Facts. I know that love, but we gotta. We gotta Yo, love, Shorty, you wanna say love. something? You see that? Y'all see that? Like, come on, come on. All of that, all of that is BS, man. All of that is BS. This is another one right here. Let's not be ignorant to what's going on. These white people don't care about us. Why do you think Trump is going to, on the internet and say certain things? But we got to understand where the heritage came from and its proper terms. We're not going to keep using the black and Dominican. Let's use Afro Latina. Let's use Afro Latino. Let's use those terms to, to stop the division. We want everybody to come as one. We saw the, the, the situation came about. Uh, incident that wasn't supposed to happen happened, but it brought it together conversation that right now folks are coming together and addressing. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we can't divert from the message. It's about police brutality and police uh, being able to get away with murder. So people coming together, putting out that call. Public apology right here. Nobody got hurt and everybody came together and everybody understands that at the end of the day, we are one human race. One. They from Harlem, the Bronx, they from different boroughs, um, but they came together, the five individuals that the situation happened to last night came over here to Dykeman to be able to talk about it. And uh, everything was squashed, everybody has a, a, an understanding, and people just coming together and using this time to build as opposed to destroy. God bless you, black man. God bless you, man. Seeing that post, it gave the wrong message to the community, and they said that we wasn't trying to go against you, and they apologized, and we respected it, and we both came together as one, and it showed that we could make change together. That's fucked up, man. We on positive vibes, man. I'm outside, you feel me? I'm comfortable to come back to that game. I feel like I could come and relax and go get some fruit or go to Mama Juana Cafe and, and relax. And now I feel good. Yesterday, it was a different breed, but now I had a clear understanding, and I came as a man and got my respect as well. I'm here. Black Lives Matter, period. I'm Dominican and I'm black. What the fuck is you talking about? All of this shit is BS, man. I wanna you we gotta cut that shit off. There was no black and Latin beef. None whatsoever. We gotta cut that shit off. So with that out the way. Now let's go to Ford Ham. <laughs> you fucking, fucking people, yo. You guys are crazy. Fordham Road. Let's go to Fordham Road. Boy, 
When I'm telling you guys the looting started, goddamn the looting started. I swear to God, that was wild. You know what I'm saying? T-Mobile stores getting ransacked and all that. Some TLC or some cars getting set on fire. God, I, I didn't know if this was Fordham Road or Arkham Asylum. You know what I'm saying? Or The Purge. I don't know. I don't know. I was like, God damn. But one interesting thing that a few people were saying, even Antonio said it, that black people are coming into the neighborhood, especially in Fordham, and looting the neighborhood. Hmm. That's interesting, right? Black people are coming into the neighborhood. That means there should be another sector in the Bronx that's just black. That's looting our neighborhood in Fordham, who is supposedly mainly Hispanic. If you really go down Fordham Road, there are literally no mom and pop shops around the area. There are some. I'm not saying there isn't. There are some. They're like maybe six or maybe 10 maybe that's basically it all of the shops around the area are all commercial um you know shops if anybody knows about Fordham Road recently there's been a very big uptick on the um on on gentrification there's a goddamn Starbucks in Fordham once you see a Starbucks and a Chipotle in any place you already know that's just gonna get gentrified you know what I'm saying? So, I want to cut that narrative off. Fordham Road is not a Hispanic neighborhood. I hate using that word Hispanic. It's not a Latin neighborhood. Fordham Road is a black and Latin neighborhood. Literally, half of the whole Bronx is black and Latin. Come on now. Now, if you guys don't believe me, here's a clip of a pharmacy. A Latin-owned pharmacy getting looted, and let's see if this is the blacks that they talk about. Took the Rodriguez family 14 years to build their successful mom and pop pharmacy in the Bronx. It took looters mere minutes to ravage. This surveillance video shows the metal gate breached at 12:36 a.m. into Tuesday morning. It's just a matter of seconds before the glass door is shattered and they storm a legal pharmacy on Jerome Avenue. It appears this woman asks for a microwave and a man hands it to her. The video shows some stuffing their pockets, t-shirts, and backpacks. Others fill baskets. This man finds garbage bags in the basement. Another stops for a quick drink. The looters struck gold when they got into the narcotics cabinet, which they wiped clean. But check out the rest of these shelves. These were filled with prescription medications for heart patients, cancer patients, people who need their medicine. Looters have become so brazen, some didn't even wear a mask for COVID, full faces showing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Also, here's another clip. Looters freely walking around with stolen liquor and new shoes in plain sight. Yeah, Shorty, Shorty looks Latina on that one, right? She's walking around with the bags and the shoes. Shorty looks Latina on that one, right? But like I said, the majority, if you're going to go into a mainly black and Latin neighborhood, the most of the looters are going to be black and Latin, not just black. They're going to be black and Latin. As you just saw from the last clip, everybody that didn't wear a goddamn mask was fucking Latina or Latino. Come on. Are you fucking dumb? But no, you want to, these people want to have a narrative of racism. They want to have a narrative saying that only black people are the ones to blame. Why? Because black people are the easiest targets to go at. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're fucking dying in the street. It's not, it's not that difficult to understand. Black people are an easier target. Why? Because of systematic white supremacy. That's why. And it's not that far-fetched of a thing to figure out. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, at least one good thing came out of this whole thing. One good thing came out of this, all this protests and looting and curfews and all this other bullshit. One good thing came out of this whole thing. 
Derek motherfucking Chauvin. I fucked my dog in the ass because my girlfriend is probably 600 pounds. His charges and all the officers or all the race soldiers, pieces of shit that were with him, their charges got upgraded to second degree murder. <laughs> second degree murder it still carries the same 25 year sentence, but at least is a step at a good step. This does not mean we should stop. We should motherfucking keep on going. All right. We should keep on going. Let's not stop this shit right now. You feel me? With that being said, I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace.